everyone. We are back with another episode of Sabre Spectrum. I am Anurupa Pereira from the communications team at Sabre Bengaluru, and I'll be your host. Today we have Shabash Sheikh from the Network Planning and Optimization Product Management team with us as our guest. Shabash, please share with our audience about your role and yourself. Hello, everyone. I am Shabash. I'm a senior technical product manager with the NPO team. As a product manager with a strong background in data analysis and modeling, I'm passionate about leveraging technology to solve complex problems in the aviation industry. With over 10 years of experience, I have gained extensive knowledge in various programming languages and frameworks, including Java, Python, Spring Boot, and Angular. I specialize in analysis and modeling, where I have developed expertise in designing and implementation of solution that optimizes aviation network planning. Thank you, Anu. I'm excited to be here and talk about data modeling in aviation network planning. Great. So let's start with the basics. Can you explain to our listeners what data modeling is and how it's used in aviation network planning? Sure thing, Anu. At a high level, data modeling is the process of creating a mathematical representation of a real world system. In the case of AVSN network planning, this might include using historical flight data, passenger demand, weather patterns, and other factors to create a model that predicts which route and schedule will be most profitable. That sounds really interesting. So how exactly is this data modeling used in aviation network planning? Well, there are a lot of different ways that airlines might use data modeling to optimize their operations. For example, they might use it to predict passenger demands for certain routes and schedules or to determine the optimal aircraft type and frequency for a particular route. They might also use it to analyze the impact of weather patterns or other external factors on flight schedules or to identify potential cost saving through route optimization. That's really brilliant. It sounds like data modeling can be a powerful tool for airlines, but what are some of the challenges associated with it? Well, one of the biggest challenges for data modeling in aviation network planning is ensuring that the data used in the models are accurate and up to date. This requires a lot of data cleaning, validation and quality control which can be time consuming and resource intensive. Additionally, as an aviation industry continues to evolve and grow, it is important to continue update the model to reflect the changing trends and condition. I can imagine that must be quite challenging. So how do airlines actually go about creating these data models? Well, it really depends on the airline and the specific needs and resources. Some airlines might have in-house teams of data scientists and analysts who specializes in creating these models, while others might work with Sabre and use Profit Manager and Fleet Manager. Regardless of how they do it, though, the key is to have a solid understanding of the data and underlying business requirements. That makes a lot of sense. So where do you see data modeling in aviation network planning going in the future? Do you think it will become even more important? Oh, absolutely. As the industry continues to become more competitive and cost conscious, airlines will need to be increasingly strategic in how they allocate their resources. Data modeling will be a critical tool in helping them do that by providing them with more accurate and reliable information about their operations and their customers. Additionally, as new technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning continue to evolve, we may see even more sophisticated and complex data modeling techniques being used in the aviation industry. That was really interesting. Well, we are just about out of time for today, but I want to thank you for joining us and sharing your insights in data modeling in aviation network planning. It was my pleasure, Anu. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you to our listeners for tuning into the Sabre Spectrum. If you have any questions or comments about this topic, please feel free to reach out to us and be sure to tune in to the next time for more insights and discussions.